Yo, guys, I hope you're doing great today. Thank you for hanging out with both of us. Today, it's not so much about the restaurant or the location, but Lee and I did just come back to Thailand. We're back in Chiang Mai. We're gonna have some Northern Thai food tonight, but specifically tonight, I wanna share a love story and I wanna share just one very special Thai dish. So how about that? A romantic story with some Thai food. How good is that gonna be? So I hope you are stoked for food time right now, no matter what time of day it is. Let's have some Thai food. Let's talk about love. Hope you're having a great day. Let me get to ordering. See you in a minute. <laughs> Oh man, okay. So, like I said, love story, love is on my mind because I have a great uh, announcement, a shout out, a big digital hug. Can't wait to hug you in real life, JJ. James, huge shout out, huge congratulations on your wedding. I was so happy today, I was actually crying. Tears of pure joy. It's one of the bits of best news that I've heard in so long. So you could even say that JJ, she is the reason that I stayed in Thailand in the first place. JJ gave my friend Mark and I our first job in Thailand. Uh, James was a good friend to me at that time. They had just also just met each other. That was 14 years ago. And uh, James has been a huge inspiration to me in so many ways. Uh, he is one of the foreigners who I know who speaks Thai better than myself. And he is also the one person I know who has explored Thailand more than I have. Anyways, it's not about me, but I just have a huge thank you to say to both of you guys for being an inspiration to me. And I'm so happy. I'm so proud of both of you. I love the news that you shared with me. So one of the dishes that I thought that could represent a way to bring love into the food is this dish gang ho. And so all of you guys who don't know my friends, maybe even don't know me, I wanna share a beautiful dish that is kind of like love or like a coming together in a single dish. And it's a great Thai food. It's called gang ho. Let me show you to you right now. <laughs> So gang means curry and all over Thailand, there are many different types of gang. That one is a, thank you. That one is a house special, but yeah. I just wanna talk about this dish today. So gang ho. Ho means mix in Northern Thai language. It's kind of a dish where you just mix everything together. There is actually a great recipe from Miss Kurua Pai Lin Hot Thai Kitchen. She has an awesome YouTube channel. She'll teach you how to make this dish if you want. Let's go through, well, let's, let's taste it first. What am I talking about? <laughs> the most awesome thing of this dish is the crazy amount of flavor per bite. I mean, really, it is, it is unmatched. It's one of those dishes that has the most flavor per square centimeter you could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. The crunch you hear is from two things, the Thai pea eggplant, and the pork skin. The mushing you feel is from a different kind of eggplant called a makkapa, which is also a Thai eggplant. There's pickled bamboo in there. There's also, there's also meat. Mm. There's lemongrass, there's galangal, there's shallots. It's just an insane dish. On the top, garnished with some fresh cilantro, fresh green onions. But seriously, the dish is so, so thick with flavor. You gotta eat it, even though it's a noodle dish, you gotta eat it with sticky rice. Northerners love to do something just like this. For the meat, by the way, it's pork belly. Let me tell you more about this dish after one more hearty mouthful. That bite, you can see the bamboo right there. So it's pickled bamboo. Mm. It's just crazy. It is spicy because of the, the secret. But yeah, get to that in a minute. Gang Ho, big cheers. Gang Ho, big cheers. This, this restaurant makes the best version of Gang Ho that I've ever had. Hmm. Oh, wow. Lee, I totally forgot how amazing this dish is. Hmm. So in Northern Thai language, Ho means mix together. But in English, you could call this 
Thai leftover curry, more specifically Northern Thai, because it is a classic Northern Thai dish. What usually happens is last night's curry is made into a dish to have today. So, I mean, strategically, I did order this dish. It's usually this curry from last night. This is Gang Hung Lei. Very spicy, very rich curry. You make it with pork belly sometimes, you make too much of it. But you don't want to throw it away, so you keep it till the next day. But then you fry it with these mung bean noodles. So it kind of seems then funny to eat noodles with rice, but you make it last as long as you can. So a dish like this is just a move of Thai genius. Of, honestly, northern Thai chefs just kill it with gang ho. Hmm. Can eat it with a spoon, or you can grip up something like that. Hmm. So, on a long trip, 14 years ago, I actually think we were at the bus station, but JJ, she, I think she ordered us the Gang Hung Lei and Gang Ho, and maybe something with jackfruit, something with green jackfruit. She's like, oh, you guys are gonna love the difference in Northern Thai food, Joel. I see you're learning about Thai food already. You gotta try these dishes, because in other parts of Thailand, they don't have specifically these two dishes. And over time, I just love the idea of this dish. I mean, it's so delicious, but I also love the idea of a leftover curry, especially when it turns out to be something that's this amazing. But it's just so fun. Hope to have a meal with you both sometime very soon, but I'm cheersing you with one of my favorite dishes and one of my favorite food memories that we have together right now. Mm. Mm. Let's, let's check out the other dishes. <laughs> okay, so just because, I mean, this dish becomes this dish, let's also taste this one. So it is very unique in, uh, you might think all Thai curries are gonna be on fire. This one actually isn't even spicy. Sometimes it's not even spicy at all. It has ginger, and it has these preserved huge garlic heads right here. Hung Lei is the name, but it comes from the, the dry Hung Lei curry that is used to make this. So I'm just jiggling it around here on the spoon, but it's so rich and so big, you can't actually handle such a big bite like that. So, I mean, it is just like, well, it's pork belly. I mean, it's like half fat. It's got peanuts in it also, which is kind of kind of rare to have peanuts in a Thai dish. Mm -hmm. I love how much of a mind trip it is. Yeah, when you're expecting fiery, maybe even sour, and it is like rich, a little bit earthy. It's, it's more similar to like an Indian curry than a Thai curry. Oh, it's amazing. The peanuts are rich. The ginger offers such a nice herbal backing. It's got cardamom in it, cinnamon. It's got sugar, sugar from the preserved, uh, well, it's like sweet garlic, really. Let's try that. Mm. So that's a whole head of pickled garlic, not just one clove, but the whole head. And then that beautiful gingery curry broth. So Thai garlic is very unique. You can eat the skin. Actually, Thai chefs don't even peel the skin of Thai garlic because it's, it's edible. So this one, you're eating the whole head, all eight or nine cloves and then the skin. And it's like sweet, it's like preserved, but like sweet preserved. Not pickled. Mm. That dish is a killer, and so is its child, its leftovers, <laughs> its resulting genius in the hands of Northern Thai. It's not Northern Thai chefs, it's actually Northern Thai mothers who are the genius behind this dish. Gang Ho. So this dish is actually rare to, to see on a restaurant menu because it's not a made-to-order dish. You might have it at a kao rat gang, a curry over rice where they make a whole tray and then you get it over rice. You can have it that way, but 
the reason we came to this restaurant tonight is because I know this restaurant actually has it on the menu, which is very weird, very unique. And they make a great version of it too. Don't ask me if it was their leftovers. I just realized that. No, I'm sure they make it, <laughs> they make it fresh. Is this the chef's own curry, leftover curry? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember the name of this one, but it's another one that I learned from Banks' dad, or Banks' uncle. Yep. It's actually sweet and sour. Sweet first. Just so wild. Hmm. Yeah, there's so many things to get wildly excited about at this restaurant. But we have made a video here focusing on like the whole menu with Brock and Caleb. We ate, I think, 14 different dishes. Lee and I are here with just five, but I did want to focus on that gang holt, which is almost finished. Man, the other dishes though are, are also amazing. Yeah. Hmm. What did you think of this dish the first time we had it? It's like so hard to understand. A lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Sour, sweet, spicy, noodle, a lot of things. Because it's a noodle dish with curry as one of the ingredients, mm -hmm. but then there's like pickled stuff. Mm -hmm. And crunchy, yeah, crunchy pork skin. So another thing that I just am obsessed with in the north is jackfruit. And the way they use jackfruit in a curry. It's green jackfruit, not yellow ripe jackfruit. And this is a tomatoey soup, you see that? And just some stinky vegetables to go with them. It's just, it's just a dream, dream come true. Oh. Tomatoey as the broth looks. And the chutom is so weird. The climbing waddle vegetable, it has this like really funky smell. Oh. It's kind of like fruity, like like a not sour, sour fruit, but like a like an overripe fruit. <laughs> it has a weird smell, but it I mean it's delicious in its own way. Yeah, but it's it's a weird one. Mm, mm, mm. And the jackfruit is the highlight. It is, the texture is almost like a mushroom, just the size of it. Your teeth just have so much more to chew through. But yeah, it's almost like a mushroom. And it is jackfruit, but it's green. There's no hint of sweetness in it. Just, that is a dish where the umami will just blow you away. So in Thai, jackfruit is kanun, but in the north, jackfruit is banun, banun. Mmm, mmm. You can have it with meat too. You can have it with meat and jackfruit if you want, but yeah, I just order gang panun with, with only the, the green jackfruit. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. Our final two dishes also, very quintessential northern orders. This one is kind of more fancy and they do it really well at this restaurant. This is a yum. So these three are gang curry. Yum means a salad, but in Thailand, yum is a sour and or spicy salad. This one is gonna be aromatic because of the leaves they or they put on top. So the, the special ingredient would be these chaplu, these leaves. These are wild pepper leaves. It's very aromatic because they also cover it with sesame. And underneath, look at that. That is green mango. And then also just a ton of shallots. Wow. Oh man, that's a huge bite. This is a this is a highlight. It's almost like dessert. It's so delicious. There is nothing like high quality or very fresh lemongrass, raw, finely shaved, in combination with that chaplu in this dish. It's just out of control. The sourness from the mango, some lime juice squeezed on. This dish has everything, except for meat. You don't even need meat. Yeah full package of flavor. Excuse me, full package of flavor, but 
neglecting the, the spicy bonus. Big chili cheers. Welcome back to Chiang Mai. Welcome us back to Chiang Mai. Intense. That beetle leaf is so beautiful. So here it's it, they just present the dish in a very beautiful way, but it's this leaf that is shredded right here. Oh, that chili got my saliva glands just working overtime. Mm. It's an amazing dish. Samun prai just means herbs. Yum samun pai. So I. Uh, Sour spicy salad with herbs. Ooh, I need a I need a different kind of herb over here. I like this side plate they give you with the tomatoes. And I think this is matum leaf right here. Wow, yeah, that chili is on fire. Okay, so I guess one more bonus word to teach you today, Mueang. So Mueang in Central Thai language actually means a city. But in the north, people refer to themselves as Kon Mueang, which means people of the north. Kind of funny, but it's very useful for you to learn that that is out there. So this one is called Lap Mueang. It doesn't mean city Lap, it means northern Lap. Let's look inside. So this one is minced pork. They're gonna add intestines and pork belly. Two key parts and then garnish it with some crunchy deep fried shallots on top. Let's taste. Got some herbs, got some chilies. Looks so delicious. Oh. oh man. One of the best things about this restaurant is it is impossible to pick a best dish. That one, this one, and the gang ho are all the best dishes. Wow, so this lap, Northern style is very different than Isan Lap, although Isan Lap is the most well-known, even in Thailand, the most well-known. Northern Lap is so different. It's more dry. This one actually is a little bit oily, and I love that because the oil kind of carries some of the chilies. The chilies are roasted, not fresh, and the, uh, the pick Lap, the flavor blend behind it is more about the roast flavor than the, than the sour, spicy, that Isan is so well known for. So Northeastern Lap and Northern Lap are so different. So try a Lap Mueang when you visit the Mueang, when you visit the, the north of Thailand. Mm. Many people just eat Lap just on its own, no rice needed, but for sure. Let me show you. You use your thumb to kind of make an indentation in the rice so you can scoop up more lap. And then with your free hand, grab one of those by makru taut. That is a deep fried uh, kaffir lime leaf as a chaser. <laughs> that is a mouthful of flavor that will keep you just satisfied for, for hours, for days, for your whole trip to the north. Whenever we come back home, back here to Chiang Mai, this is always one of the first places we visit. It's good to be here. Chiang Mai. Wow. And James, JJ, if you are still watching, this is just for you, because I always remember how you would make fun of me, how all of the chon clans come to <laughs> come to wind up on my plate. So this is happening right now, and it continues to happen, even <laughs> 14 years later. Mm. So silly to think that they wouldn't put pork in Gang Kanun. So the North Northerners love pork, for sure. There's definitely pork in that dish. Love the tomatoey soup. Love everything about this Gang Kanun. Mm. Okay, let me show you one more funny, funny ingredient here. Amazing, really. This is called a lin fa in Thai. In English, it's called a broken bones tree fruit, I think. I don't know if it's a fruit or a vegetable, but broken bones tree. It has the craziest look and the craziest flavor. Texture is also wild. I mean, everything about it is just nuts. 
You shouldn't eat it first unless you just want to know what it tastes like because it's it's intense. Actually, you should take a lot first. Another crazy awesome thing here in the north is Siberian ginseng. It actually has thorns on it. Very healthy as something called Siberian ginseng might might appear to be. Very delicate flavor. It's actually sour. And yeah, in the north, many herbs that you eat alongside dishes of fried, roasted meat are gonna be sour. They're crazy. It's a leaf and it tastes like a, like a lemon, like the rind of an orange. It's a bit intense, but it's also very nice. Just so unique. Hmm. Passion. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. Perfect timing. So, so we do come here frequently. They gave us some free fruit tonight. Look at that. Beautiful. So we have two different ripenesses of mango. So it's two different mangoes they gave us. How did they know? My favorite fruit. That's so cool. Head going on. Big cheers to you. Thank you, guys. That is beautiful. Mm. Oh man. Mm. So the gao might be a apple or a R2D2 or a gao. Those are similar species. There's no way you can know, so I can just say whatever I want. But it's a very fruity mango, as in like a very sweet, no tartness. And this one, just from the color, might be a Nam Dok Mai. Did you just say R2D2? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's, that's a mango species, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a very big, short, round mango. You've had it before, R2 or R2D2. I love Star mm. You know what? It's the same species, just two different ripenesses. Mm. And then, banana. Saparot or Isan is Pakna. Pineapple. <laughs> mm. Oh, so sweet, so fresh. Man. It's closest to mango season, but watermelons are always around. Pineapple grow very well in Thailand, but this this is the highlight for me. Very cool. Thank you for the gift. Wan Mak, Aloy Mak. <laughs> That's so cool. Two, one. Hmm. Mm. So in a way, you might not know it, but you, if you enjoy Lee and I, if you enjoy our channel, if you enjoy my knowledge of Thai food, my extreme excitement, my explorations around Thailand, the, the thing that gave me the passion for all of that was, of course, my own interest, but it was just grown and nurtured by, definitely by these two people and their friendships and their encouragement in so many ways. So I have, as far as my life in Thailand goes, I have these two people to thank more than anyone else. I have my friend Mark, and then I have God, who led me here in the first place and just paved the way for my heart to love Thailand. But yeah, these are two, two people from whom you actually get the benefit of their kind of leadership, friendship, and inspiration in my life in so many ways. So you might not know it, but you, if you love this channel, you also would love my friends James and JJ. So a huge, a huge applause, a huge hug, a huge just cheers for their, for their marriage and their love for each other. It's great. It's a very fun occasion for me to be able to make a video today. So I hope you guys both loved this. I hope you got hungry by some Northern Thai food. Can't wait to see you both next closest opportunity. Until then, much, much love. Later. And bye everyone. Good night.